hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Angels that I got the message trying to get my bread up, gotta keep my head up, but I'm getting fed up. Niggas know I'm pressure. Still deal with days where I know I'm great, but I'm feeling less. I got a nigga stressing, got me smoking heavy. Damn, I swear this weed shit been cold steady. Pretty fucking amazing, sorry than the dope aesthetics. 33 grams, bro, nigga, I ain't smoking Reggie, but the clip on me and I'm talking Reggie. Can I cut some niggas off on the way up? And stop letting y'all have these ops ask me what part of Philly I'm from, like I just made it up. Nigga, I don't find who I am. I'm 34, lying about where I was born is lame, childish, and lame as fuck. Fat. So let's clean this up. Do it. I'm from Germantown. Uh -huh. I lived in every part of the city. I've been to Roosevelt, Barrett, Mansion. Check my story. There's so much more to me. My dad right there. He gave me to my mom. She was having a hard time. We was living accordingly. We moved a lot. Ask me what block I'm from. I tell you on a block where we can afford to be. See, it's fun. <laughs> They bought a whole hundred of these. <laughs> Let's turn this bitch up 500 degrees since the block is hot. Big T at Okay, okay. Stay there. Stay there. Keep going. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to my guy, Smitty, with the featured song, you know what I'm saying, of the week. If you trying to get your music played, you want your music out there, you want to be heard, hit me up on the gram, Vada underscore fly. It does cost, because ain't shit in this world free. Everything got a fee, even when it comes to me. But I make it affordable. But anyway, let's just get right into it. See, 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 that was the arrangement for me to get to talking about these payments. Easy to block Captain versus Big T. This was one of the reasons why I even left to go see that event. I didn't want to see Easy battling in Philly on my computer or on my phone. I needed to see that there. There's just certain shit I need to see there. Um, Easy had a lot of pressure coming into this one. I know that a lot of y'all just be like, oh, it's just Big T. Big T's not good. Woo -dee -woo -dee. He ain't been good in a long time. I get it. I know. I get it. But you got to understand that if Easy even has a debatable with Big T, he didn't win. I told him this. If you have a debatable with Big T, you did not win. <laughs> I could be the rich ball of this fall sitting this tall, man. I'm telling you. I can tell you. Immediately, if you have a debatable, or the battle's close, or whatever the case may be, you're not going to win. You're not going to get a win. They're going to be waiting to tear it down. Um, I will say, shout out to Easy's work ethic. Uh, I've seen Easy the Black Captain battle and sell merch and push product in the same event. Like, literally. Set, had a stand set out front, mad people copping merch, battle, came back out there, the work ethic, and then probably going to Orlando today for volume, his work, his work ethic is unmatched. Now, let's talk. So, Easy to Black Captain goes first. And there was an elephant in the room. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, mean, I work in Philly, I be in Philly, I'm damn near uh, adopted son of Philly. You know what I'm saying? I'm there all the fucking time, but I'm forever a New York nigga, but I got a lot of love there. Um, there was a narrative going around. Where's Easy from in Philly? He's not from Philly. Where, where is he from? What hood is he from? What town is he from? What block is he from? And Easy's my man. I rock with Easy. I never really, I never really even hit him up because I ain't from there. So shit, why I'm a nigga who ain't from there hitting a nigga that's supposed to be? You know what I'm saying? What am I supposed to die? You know what I mean? Like, what I look like? Nigga, I'm from New York. Why am I asking him, yo, where you from in Philly? Nigga, not the part you from because I ain't from there. So anyway, this is a run long, run, long running narrative with him. And he addressed it. And the way he addressed it was masterfully. Like, he really addressed it. And I love the way, and I know people said, why didn't he do it on URL? Well, the answer is simple. That, that had to be answered in Philly. What schools I went to, what blocks I went, what jails I was in. I do this shit accordingly. So when you ask me what block I'm from, I'm from the block where we could afford to be. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh nigga. Oh, y'all, you're getting what you want now, huh? Um, 
he's just, he's wow. Like, Easy to Black Captain really brought a URL performance or one of his Easy to Black Captain performances to the Battle Academy. No bullshit. Um, like I said, I know there are battles and there are other instances in this night where people are talking about as far as mic issues and things like that, but I didn't get that much from Big T versus Easy to Black Captain. What I will say, um, I seen Big T's performance. And I normally, see this is why I be telling y'all, right? Like going to events means nothing. It don't, it all it really, oh, like, like if you are in a position, I'm gonna say this, like me, you know what I'm saying? Like I go to events, nigga, everybody in this motherfucker knows me. I'm not gonna walk, I, it's impossible. I won't walk past a single nigga that don't know me, right? On the, and that's just keeping it humble. But I could go to this event, watch every single battle, and the way I felt there is the same way I would have felt sitting here in my chair. At this point in Big T's career, I'm just gonna be honest with you, what it requires to be a top level star, the moments, big stage bars, I'm not even gonna say nothing, big stage bars, he didn't have any. Now, the crowd wasn't going, but he knew that coming in. That's the thing, when y'all be telling, oh, no, no, the crowd, the crowd, it was a setup easy, Big T was lined up. How the fuck was he lined up? He knew what he was getting into. This is Philly. This is, are you not aware? This is Philadelphia. They're not going. The crowd, I swear to God, when he was rapping, the crowd was like, no mas, no mas. You got a couple more seconds and we about to start booing. That's what they said when the nigga was rapping, bro. I was right there. In the trenches. Me and SP. Shout out to my brother. Um, I got easy to block Captain 3-0. I'll say this. Uh, he showed up in every round. Like, he literally showed up in every single round. And it was like Big T's went from... he didn't. I don't even feel like he started high. He started, like, down here, and it just stayed there the whole time. Like, it was not... Like, it wasn't like... He started here, then went there, then elevated, then came back down. No, it was just low. Like everything was, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't what it was. I would listen. I was listening to it with an open mind and a clear ear. Like I ain't sitting here hating. I actually respect Big T. I said what up to him when I saw him. I ain't got no issue. I rock with Big T. I love what he do. But I just feel like at this point in his career, to put him against some of the newest, hottest. MC's out is probably not a good idea. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he got somebody else on the car, maybe on a lower battle or something like that, then maybe. But it, it, it wasn't hitting last night. It was nasty work. I'm not, I ain't gonna lie. It was nasty work. Like, I, I, I don't know. I was 20 feet away from the shit. Y'all be like, y'all don't see the bad nigga. I was right there. I could literally throw a fucking tomato up there. It was not, just wasn't hitting. And I love what he does and what he's done for his career. But in Philadelphia, a city like that, a gritty city where people are hard working, they got to work hard to get their money. Tickets is $50 and up. Stage passes is $100 and all this other shit. Like these tickets are expensive. You got to get the night off. You got to find a babysitter. You're downtown. You got to eat. You got to drink. And if you burn, you got mad shit to do. Nobody's coming to no big event to see the lack of big stage bars. That venue was packed. There was people all the way to the back, to the front, like the whole shit. It wasn't like no, all oh, this. Is it. There was people upstairs too. Stairs, they put Battle Academy put on for the city of Philadelphia last night. You crazy? Like, them niggas put on. And I say that to say this. They put on, Easy put on. It wasn't really Big T's night. And I'm beyond, and I, like I said, the crowd wasn't going. But Big T also wasn't giving him no reason to either because I seen other people from out of town cook. Danny Myers was on that stage. Cuban was on that stage. Jazz the Rapper was on that stage. Must I keep going? D.I. the Henny Man was on that stage. K. Walk, there's mad other people that got love that rap before you and after you. I can't go with the notion that they was just hating on you to be hating on you because trust and believe, if you would have brought some fire, niggas probably would have gave it up. It wasn't like on no super biased shit. It was just, they. I literally heard the nigga like, no, nope, that's not it, fam. No, nope, that's not it. Like when you go on, the, like the pockets of flows, it's just not, it's just not what they was, man. And it is what it is. But I had Big T, you know what I'm saying? He tried to do his thing, but I had him losing. I had Easy the Black Captain winning the battle going into the battle. I had Easy the Black Captain winning in the building. And I got Easy the Black Captain winning on camera too. However you niggas want to do it, we can cut this shit 
three waves for three days. I still got him winning every single round. He starts off by addressing why he even battled Big T to get a YouTube drop, a Christmas check. You know what I'm saying? This is my living room. <laughs> he was, boy, oh my God, yo. He said, I battled, he said something like, I battled Averb, that was for my house money. I battled Goods, that was for my couch money. I battled, next battle for John John, a business account. I'm going, like, he was just wilding, bro. And I'm not going, like I said, uh, I did not see it from the pay-per-view side looking in. So I don't know if there was any audio, whatever the case may be, but I hope it didn't happen in this battle. I will talk about the battle that I was viably right there for, and it happened. The Rosenberg versus uh, Bill Collector battle. I feel like that battle actually got ruined by uh, by by the mics. You know what I'm saying? I really do. But um, overall, uh, yeah, clear win here. Easy, definitely. I think, but I do think Easy the Black Captain needs to face someone tougher. He's got to see Shotgun Shoe. He's got to see John John and Don or something like that. Because to me, this is like. If and y'all from you niggas from Philly, right? Y'all like Philly? Yeah, you Philly fans? This is like if the Eagles play against the Jaguars or the Eagles play against uh the, the Panthers or the Eagles play I could keep going. You're supposed to win. This is the same you are supposed to bears. You are supposed to win. I can't give you too much credit for winning the battle you were supposed to, but I do understand the mission as far as getting the YouTube drop, staying relevant, keeping your name out there, your face out there. Three, doing something in front of your city. Four, being able to sell merchandise and be able to make extra bread on the side while you're in the building. And five, just being able to dead a narrative of niggas asking where you from, where you at, and all this other shit. So I get it, especially when the narrative is like trying, they're trying to like really bust your brain with this narrative. I hear people even saying, oh, Calico got him to speak. No, I spoke to Easy. He wanted to do that in Philly because Philly's the only place that that needed to be done. Once again, shout out to the Battle Academy. Shout out to my guy Stiz. Uh, I'll recap Raw versus uh, Bill Collector. Uh, I got some interesting thoughts and perspective on that. And I'll just talk about the rest of the event in that blog because that was like the headliner, you know what I mean? And we'll just do it like that. We good. Game. Okay. Being able to dead a narrative of niggas asking where you from, where you at, and all this other shit. So I get it. Especially when the narrative is like trying, trying to like really bust your brain with this narrative. I hear people even saying, oh, Calico got him to speak. No, I spoke to Easy. He wanted to do that in Philly because Philly's the only place that that needed to be done. Once again, shout out to the Battle Academy. Shout out to my guy Stiz. Uh, I'll recap Raw versus uh, Bill Collector. Uh, I got some interesting thoughts and perspective on that. And I'll just talk about the rest of the event in that blog because that was like the headliner, you know what I mean? And we'll just do it like that and we good. Okay. Getting fed up, niggas know I'm pressure. Still deal with days where I know I'm great, but I'm feeling less. I got a nigga stressing, got me smoking heavy. Damn, I swear this weed shit been cold and steady. Pretty fucking amazing, sorry, then the dope aesthetics. 33 grand, bro, nigga, I ain't smoking Reggie. Put the clip on me and I'm toting Reggie. Man, I 